Hello, everyone. Bring up game. Today, I gotta put the music back on temporarily. You'll soon see why I took it off. Today, we're gonna try out MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. How's the frame rate? It looks, looks a little slow on my preview. Looks fine on my screen, though. Generic rock music. Yeah, I've played about 20 to 30 minutes of this already to set it up for today's stream. Looks kind of choppy. I don't know why. It's perfect on my screen. Why is it being choppy for the stream? Uh, I'll fix that. Anyway, um, my thoughts on the game over in 20 minutes is, um, and kind of before I got the game based off the trailer, is um, I'm a bit worried the generic rock music might describe a lot of it. Let me let me fix it first. The game's a massive, massive memory hog. It's running fine for me on the uh, on the menu, uh, but it's not running fine on the stream. I wonder if I get into instant action real quick just to test if this game is going to be a, a hog to stream, or if it's just the menu. Sorry, let me just check this if we need to make a bunch of changes. Sounds up, puns out, says you can instantly repair and reload, so I'll have to say. Oh, repairs are instant. Ooh. It's 50 bucks, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's like last time with Phoenix Point, right? Give it a try so that other people don't have to. Hmm. It takes way longer to load when I'm streaming, too. It's like instant offline. That's odd. Looks quite choppy on the stream, stream player, too. Blue Ulrich says, no, it costs time and money to repair. What the hell is some that puns out talking about? Some that puns out puts asterisk, repairs in mission are possible in instant. Oh, it's got like the Mech Warrior 3 um, repair bays? That's cool. Kind of need that for longer missions, I feel like. Otherwise, your balance is going to be all over the place. Everything back. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. The hell? This is lagging so bad that I'm streaming. Oh, there's like an actual dropship. Animation. Cool. Stand clear. This wasn't in when I tried it yesterday. I wonder if they day one patched it. Sensors online. Weapon online. All systems phenomenal. Let me know how it's running. It's really choppy. Oh, God. Group to justice. So you will have to search the area and ensure that everyone on our list is found and dealt with. Before no, I'm just trying to test my stream. How's the frame rate? Target acquired. We've got eyes on the primary. Drop them before their friends show up. Really choppy, yeah? Okay. Uh, what can we do about that? Chunky frames. First, I'm going to try to turn off the stream preview. How's that? Apparently this game doesn't even do 120f, uh, 120Hz. I like the MP lasers. I like the pulse lasers. That fixed it? We good now? Okay. Alright, cool. If that's better, then that's all I needed to see. Alright. Yeah, you gotta have gantries, right? Otherwise, the Everything mech balance gonna be all over the place, because then you gotta balance the players so they don't die to, like, equal mechs over, like, a long mission. Anyway, so my thoughts on this game are... Let me pull up for a second the, the trailer, right? So, like we did at Phoenix Point, uh, this is this is like a stream where I'm kind of like, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking going into the game, um, because this is a game I wasn't sure about. Uh, let me just play you, like, the audio of the trailer, okay? Here, listen to this. You don't need to see it, just listen. 
Welcome to Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We've taken a job where our objective is to destroy an enemy supply depot, and you've jumped into the middle of the action. There's our objective. Luckily, we don't need to waste any ammo in order to destroy it. He's walking through the building. Last contract, which we can now equip. The Atlas has gone through some rough treatment. Repairs will be needed before taking it out. So the thing, um, the, the reason I play that audio is because then that combined with like, where'd it go? Oh, sorry, I muted it. That's right. That combined with like the generic rock music, all right? That's a big part of my impressions going into this, honestly, is it does very much feel like a lot of their theming is like generic rock music, which is really weird for me. Because for me, Battletech is not like that at all. Uh, Battletech for me is MechWarrior 3. Um, with like, I don't remember any rock music in that. I remember it being like, like what's the the freaking trailer? I need I need to disable performance mode for a second because I need to. Um... Okay, let me let me let me do a thing I've done like a million times before, right? Here, pull. Pull this up for a sec. You know what we're doing. We started using Google Ads. No. To get no, I don't want Google Ads. Frank Grimming? One of the really great things. So here's here's what I think when I think of MechWarrior, right? It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines. Can we just watch the whole thing, please? Battle mechs. I love this intro. Piloting these awesome weapons of war watching it. are men and women, the elite of the elite, knowing that each battle could be their last. I watch this like once a year. They are mech warriors. Clanner! Die, Clanner! Oh man, what is what's the frame rate? Hang on, sorry. I have to get another person's That frame rate is terrible, Jesus. War machine that Or is that just a frame rate from back in the day? Maybe it's just a frame rate. I see them, Brown Commander. Hold your position. Sorry, we got we got real 640 times 480 resolution now. Lance leader, Jaguars are splitting up. I repeat, the mechs have split up. Copy, Grand Commander. We're on them. Fireflies one and two. Track the four. Roger that, Commander. We're almost there. We'll handle the bad cat. Big Al, stand by to intercept. Move to position. <laughs> that fucking dude. I'm sorry, but that fucking dude who just explodes. Move to position. <laughs> Retro Atlas. That's it! Hit it with LRM, just dead. Whoa! Whoa, Mech 
three, Aurier. Yeah, man, like, you can't sit- so that's- I play that because it's- it's like a tonal shift for me, right? It's very strange, so... Then you- you go from that... And you go into this, where it's like, ba na 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 like, generic rock music and the trailer guys, like, Welcome to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries! In MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, you and your 100-ton killing machine are stomping across the battlefield to have it your way. And it's just, like, really... It's very, it's very, like, to me, like, very generic. Hey, Chad McHetero, welcome to your power fantasy. Like, it's really weird. It's, did you know what I mean? It's, it's very odd. Hi, gamers, yeah. Yeah, six LRMs enough to kill a heavy. So, it, it is odd to me in that sense, and I'm going to leave the music on. I turned the music off and I had a much better experience, but I'm going to leave it on at first here. Um, I'm going to do like a... Uh, let, let's see, we'll, we'll go into campaign, but I'm going to leave it on for now. Um, but it's weird, like, this rock music plays through the whole game, like, in the missions and everything. Like, it's going the whole time. And it's just so odd. And I was, I, when I first started playing, I was like, oh, this is really, like, not really feeling this. But I turned the music off, and I was like, instantly better. Instantly better. I was like, oh, this feels like MWO now. Like, this is good, because I turned the music off on that, too. I, I don't know if MWO has this music, because I just have the music off in MWO. Um, so anyway, going into it today, set my expectations. I'm expecting any kind of story or anything resembling an intended story to be kind of bad in this. I'm expecting more of this kind of like tone and theme that's like, isn't war like cool, Chad Gamer Man? Um, I'm not really expecting anything interesting or like immersive or like making me feel like I'm really in the world. Um, and then extending that into the gameplay. I don't really know what to expect. I'm a bit worried that... Because the only thing this is going to have over MWO is the single... You know, the single player has to have some more depth to it, right? Like, otherwise, MWO is going to be more interesting because it's versus people who are much more interesting opponents. So for this to really be a good game and interesting to me, it's going to have to have a very interesting and involving gameplay loop with the strategy layer. Um, it's going to have to be very, like... Addictive, you know, me trying to get new mechs, me wanting to get new mechs, wanting to get new equipment. Also, hopefully, some kind of stuff to keep me going of, like, the mercenary company building part. Hopefully, the way I can slot in and interact with the world is going to be interesting enough to make me go, okay, this is fun. Um, what I'm hoping it isn't uh, is I'm hoping it's not just going to be like, all right, you know, here's the entire inner sphere, but most of the planets are basically the same. They're just different numbers for missions. Um, here's like six or so different mission types. They play out vaguely the same, uh, and you're gonna be doing them over and over for the whole- whole career. Technically, you could play this for a hundred hours, but you're probably gonna be feel done with the content after six or ten. I'm hoping it's not that. I am worried that that's what it's gonna be, because that's what this game lives or dies on for me. Th this is gonna be all about, is the sandbox play actually interesting? Because I'm not really expecting a lot from the story, so... Is this going to be interesting sandbox play? We're going to find out. Um, I've only... I, I haven't even, like, finished a mission. I've only tested it for, like, 20 minutes to make sure it ran properly. So we're going to jump into a campaign, and I know nothing about this. So I haven't even done my keys yet. So let's get into in it. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. <sighs> Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Mechs. The year is now 3015, 
and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenary's trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. God, this fucking music. It's super, super, super not great cutscene there. I have very little faith in the tone of the rest of the game from the same devs who are doing this, these music choices and cutscenes. Oh god, what? There we go, had to load. This is already better. Yeah, it's 3015. Oh, first person. Hang on a sec. So again, just to do a real quick comparison to another amazing thing. Just give me one sec. It takes like one minute and it always deserves to be watched. So you know what we're going to compare it to now, right? Peggy 12. So I want you to compare that cutscene to this. Another video that should be watched often. This is telling the same story that one just did. Pretty much. Very differently. I've watched that trailer, I mean, I'm sorry, I've watched that intro probably at least 10 or 20 times. And it's funny because even now it still sends a chill down my, through my head and down my spine every time I watch it. That's, and that's just, I could not watch that cutscene they just did without comparing it to the Battletech one. Not to derail from the game too much today, but honestly, it's just, it's a comparison that really needs to be just done up front right as we get into this. Okay, so there's like an FPS. Oh, you never sprint. There's like an FPS walking around thing. We started as a now. Sorry, I gotta turn off the um the, the performance again. Oh, is that better? This game does not run super well. Oh, hi. Oh shit. There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar, and we'll get started. Hey, buddy! I like that. That's cool. 
At first I was like, this is so unnecessary, but honestly I actually really like this for giving you a sense of the scale. That's a really good way to give a sense of the scale of Battle Max. Oh, thank you. Hey there, Chief. It's going down. You got a little flame icon on you. There you go. That's pretty neat. There's an experiment waiting for you in the test chamber. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Oh, you can see the uh, grasshopper here getting... Oh, it's got no legs! <laughs> it's fully in the gantry. Its core is um, disconnected. That's cool. I've never kind of... Ex it's still a little choppy. I don't know what I can do to fix that. If it keeps being a big problem, we'll, we'll fix it later on. Wow. I've never really got to experience... Battletech scale quite like this before, so this is really cool. Right away, this is a really awesome. Like, look how big that gun is. My god. Oh no, don't stop playing music. <laughs> don't ruin the moment. What you doing there, Chief? Soldering, ironing, uh... Crane. Oh, we going up to the Centurion? We going up? Oh, that's a shame. Understandable. They probably don't have the hugest budget All for right, stuff like son. that. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. I would have forgiven this game for all the rough music if it had had a full animation for that mode. Again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen Two. Ramen? What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? Hey. He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. I hate subtitles like that where it slowly trickles in. We Good. Fahad? Sensors online. Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Yeah. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Yeah, unless they fucked it up for MWI, it was always going to feel good to walk around. Look at her go, eh? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. How would I reverse into it? Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Oh. You didn't mean torso. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. The mouse feels a bit slower with the same sensitivity than MWO. Good. Like, As you can not the see, sensitivity, the torso but rotates independently how from you the can legs. Turn. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and try auto-aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right, then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Oh, I see. Looking good. Uh, don't think I'll use this button to look good. Next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. Yeah, man, let's let's go. Oh, this is it. Wait, what? The minimap is kind of confusing. I mean, the the waypoints, like the the waypoints don't show up on the minimap. That's so weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I got the hang of it. Okay, I think I got it. Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Can you not point your guns at me when you talk to me? Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I've spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll Shut up, Brett. Well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Dad. Oh man, was he pissed. Dad, what the fuck is the paint scheme we have in this Captain mercenary Mason. company? Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Rihanna. I want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now space worthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? He's a natural, just like his old man. Oh, it is my dad. I see humility is still in short supply. Oh, it really is my dad. I was joking. We need it in full working order. <laughs> There's no character customization either. You have to be this dude, I guess. Chad McWhite man. Not a good start for a career sandbox game to not have character customization for a single player only game. Oh, what? Luckily, I'm a white man, so it won't be too jarring for me, but it suck for everyone else. Always, my friend. Yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? Dad, can I skip tutorial? I know how to do this. All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. What, what do you want me to shoot? Just shoot the sign that says firing range? You didn't need that, did you? Oh god. Okay, take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. Dad, is this a firing range or just like people's homes? All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Dad, I know! Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon you group loser. 3. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Dad thinks LRMs are the fun stuff. What a loser. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target Really is a mech dad. Something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Well, let's try targeting a drone first. And this time, before you fire your LRMs. Yep. Target dis Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? It's trying to teach me about holding the next lock, but I'm never going to use LRMs. Moving and firing at the same time. I've set oh. up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Dad, this is this must be really expensive, all this shit. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Stupid LRMs. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh wait, shit. Fuck. Target acquired. Dad, how much do these drones cost? 
destroyed. Oh, there's a better way we could have done this. That's right. I'm the I'm the mercenary captain's son. I get all the Target perks. The drones are free if you steal them. Yeah, they were in those. They were in the firing range. Take up a position by the barricade. Oh, hi, Dad. Okay, I've projected three mechs each. How's the frame rate? Damage profile. Still bad. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot if you need to. If you need to. Kind of bad. All right, let's see what we can do about that before we go any further. Auto detect. I gotta put this on fire. I'm sorry. Like, um, is there like a performance guide for this yet? Like, is there shit you can turn off to make it run better? Because I'm already on 720p, not 1080, so I can't go down on the stream settings. Um. How's that? Is that better? Let's put PP and this on low and see if that helps. Oh, Jesus Christ! Do not do that! <laughs> 2003, I'm home! For, for sake of argument, does it run better? Or does that not even help? Nope. Okay. I've got a bad feeling this isn't so much about the graphics as it's just this game is not well optimized. Okay. For example, oh. Great. For example, if I just put everything on low, can we even run it better without the foliage? All right, does that help or is it still choppy? It's still choppy. Okay, so the graphics don't help. It's not AMD's fault. <sighs> so how are you supposed to stream this game then? So running everything on max doesn't make any difference apparently. Oh, we never turned off this. Is this gonna help? It was much better. Oh, thanks, Jim. Chat is terrible at giving feedback then. Pull it up on my wrist screen. We need to get this working properly. It's better. Looks real blurry now. What the hell? I need to make it use on not max. Let's go to let's go auto detect. Camilla says, for what it's worth, the intro area was really choppy for me, and then it leveled out afterwards. Hmm, okay. So. It's a shame, because MWO runs fine. There's zero problem with MWO. Daddy needs some filtering, I feel like. No filtering is ugly. So let's turn that down. And let's turn post-processing down. Was that the thing that was making everything look like dirt?
All right, now I got it up on my other screen so I can see. All right, so it's a bit choppy. It looks okay on the stream to me. We'll push through the tutorial and we'll see. Dad just been sitting there like, oh my son. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go yes. ahead and destroy the center torso. Now we're doing holograms. You see that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Does it be to play? No, it's fine to play. It's over for them. Take out both legs. Target acquired. I actually have the sounds. Strip. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. Yes. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Those are huge head boxes. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. Compared to MWO. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. I get it, like it's not PvP, head so head you can make the head back. bigger, but it still feels like it'll armor. trivialize the gameplay. But I guess they're hard to hit in combat, to be fair. Be we'll see how we, we won't pass like just on that yet. It's gonna be harder to hit in a moving, um, moving situation. Hitbox is made large, but you still have to hit glass? Okay. That's not so bad then. Erby? I missed the Erby. Where was the Erby? Target acquired. Oh, here's Erby. Am I meant to shoot you? Oh! I meant to shoot you. Dad, the hologram's talking! Is that necessary? Yeah, nice work. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. Dad, did we just kill a robot? Like, did that AI have dreams? What are you doing, Dad? Dad, you're just you're breaking shit. Dad, the hologram's still lying dead on the ground, like... Should we- should we see if it's alright? Oh god. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I- oh god. Okay- oh god! No! When we get back to the base, we'll buy Fahad a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. At least the protagonist isn't voiced. Though I don't know why then they didn't just say, like, my child instead of my son. Captain Mason, my senses are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. Uh-oh, Dad. I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. Come on, let's go. We need to get back to the base. Is that the trailer voice guy? I just realized. Oh no. Dad, look out. Why is my mech not painted like yours? Oh man, frames on the stream. This game is not very well optimized. <sighs> It's the crab from the main menu, and it has a commando and a hunchback as lance mates. Get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. Wait, is that meant to be me? No. From what Rihanna says, oh, I am voiced. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract. <sighs> catch up with you. 
No! Dad, we can fight Commander, them together. The base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, copy that. Why did I not talk the entire time until now? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously. Why do they have that distortion on their voice? I hate it. Listen to her, Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. What the hell? You've done your research, I see. But you're too late. Oh my god. Meanwhile, I'm getting soloed by a helicopter, because I'm an idiot. Just shoot it! Just shoot the helicopter! I'm so bad! Oh my god! Oh shit, we just out. No, my dad. That I care about. Because I was went on a mission with him and I had a chance to like him. Oh no, my dad. Nice, Dad. You killed the commando of an Atlas. Got him. Okay, then we lost the budget for the sound suddenly. Oh, the bad guys are ruthless. They don't care about their own pilots. Oh, headshot AC-20. God, the frames are just horrendous in the cutscene. <laughs> just... Imagine how much better that would have been if there was no out of mech cutscenes and it was all told from first person perspective and like better. That was uh that was about what I expected from the story of this so far. You ever get sick of that cliche where it's like, oh, the bad guy shoots his own, uh, shoots his own mook in the first opening cutscene when you meet him. Oh, he steps on his, his down friend's head. Like, why? Why did you do that? It's such a fucking shit cliche. I just want villains who don't Commander, kill their own men for some reason. Sorry to wake you, but our sitrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Jesus Christ, how are we gonna fix this fucking stream? This is running like hell. Maybe try and borderless window? My god. Is borderless window gonna help? They can't even do the menu. What the fuck, man? This is really badly optimized. Look, this is a top of the line computer too. And we're not even running on 1080, we're running on 720. Was it like this off stream? No, it's it's fine. Just to be clear, for the fifth time, it is fine. I have a perfect frame rate, but the stream is just hell. So I have to assume that the game is just hogging all the memory or something. Let me look at my memory. Let me look at my um, task manager. The game itself is fine. I think it's a smooth frame thing. What smooth frame thing? Smooth frame rate. Yes, that's what we want. We want a smooth frame rate. Does that help? That does not help. But it's better, says the stream. 
Apparently, you should just turn on better frame rate as an option. Alright, well, we'll see if that helps out of this, like, um... I'm having a really good time of this Star Citizen mode, but you guys don't really get to have a very good view of it. It's really choppy. Oh, that's cute. Just, just bear with the frames, we'll see if it gets better out in play now that we've got smooth frame rate on. That's cute that it actually shows you here your loadouts. The UI could use a bit of work, but hey, I mean, it's there. Looks like I'm playing in Gary's mod, someone modded this in, but... M-laser, 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 M-laser. So we got, what is this, Javelin? A scent that is fucked. Because that <laughs> helicopter soloed me. Oh, hi, Rihanna. Commando, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm hi. not much for sentimentality. Okay. That's why you're not looking at me. I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Besides, I'm gonna need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary out. Oh, that's me. That's me talking. I forgot. I don't know more than that at the moment. I thought it was this guy. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, hmm. Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. Fuck Fahad. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss oh, them with you. Got too far away. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. I wasn't really listening to any of that. Not because I'm trying to be a dick, but just, I don't know. I just, I find it very difficult to listen to that. I kind of tuned out. How do I go down? Marine just here like, holy shit! Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in I don't like one your face. Now. She's a good girl. Why do you I'll call them all girls? Her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. I don't like you for her. Anyways, you know the drill? Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, okay? Why did you have to say A at the end? We have to... I feel like every script line, like, every script direction or entry for Fahad is Fahad talks. He is very British. I, um... Jam, Jam made me realize something when we were watching um, World War II in color, and it's bothered me ever since, is it's weird when... Dudes have this thing where they always have to call ships, and in this case, battle mechs, as, as women. Ah, you know, the, the, the Bismarck set out. She set out from port and she did this and that. Like, it's a ship, bro. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a girl. It's kind of weird. Oh, she's a good mech. Oh, yeah, she's a good girl. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. Just call it a fucking mech. It's a weird thing. So, I meant to read this. There are two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is with the repair mech button on the battle mech's screen. But but boat waifus. Sailors were the original <laughs> anime fans. <laughs> it's a really old naval tradition. Yeah, along with the one where women can't be on boats, but also boats are women. There are two ways to repair all damaged armor. Structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is the repair mech button on the battle mech screen. The second is to click loadout. Start work. Both members will ask you to confirm by setting the work order. Sea bills will be immediately deducted and work will finish when time has elapsed. This will repair any weapons or equipment but will not remove them. Place them if they're destroyed. Okay. Oh shit, I'm in it! Wow! 
God damn. You are in a conflict zone. Repairing and refitting mechs is more expensive and time consuming. Okay, we've just got a javelin and a centurion. Repair daddy. 20%, 30%. Okay, that's not much more. How much money do I have? I have 2 milli. Cool. Started with a lot of money from my dad. I guess it's just mine now. I should have just inherited all that. Yeah, hit it with the hammer. Much nicer than MWO already. You can actually see the mech. Even while you're doing a loadout. That's cute. Yeah, so, so there's like, um, there's like sizes, by the way, of loadouts now. Medium energy, small energy, uh, large energy and shit. I don't, I don't like that compared to HPS Battletech. I forget if MWO is like that as well. Does MWO have sizes on the slots or is it just a slot is a slot? Yeah, go back. MWO is not. I kind of hate it. Like, I, I went into instant action and I tried to, like, get a mech I wanted to play, right? So I went to a Marauder to put some ACs on it. And then it's, like, one small ballistic hard point. And you can only put an AC2 in it. I'm like, okay. So then I went to the Warhammer. I'm like, well, at least I'll be able to put twin auto cannons on the Marauder. I want to do what on the Marauder. Same thing. Small. Two small slots. I was like, what the fuck? I think I had, like, it had, like, four small slots. So you could put four machine guns on it. But then, why can't the four slots also just work as two medium slots why can't it just be slot based at least it's kind of annoying so it feels like the mech chassis are really hard locked into what weapons you can put on them which seems like it'll really hard lock what builds are good i really do not like that from the start that you're very locked into this mech is what this mech mounts what this mech mounts i wonder what the modding will be like for this game i really hope stuff like that will change I think they're trying to balance the hard points. Uh, I think I think a lot of fun for Mech Warrior is not being forced to use every mech, but just being like, this is the one I like. It's vaguely balanced against other mechs of its tonnage. I don't think you can make me interested in trying other mechs just by forcing me to like just by forcing me to use them. I think you're just making to make me resent you, personally. They're catering to hardcore BT fanboys as a system zero customization. See, I hate that. I think what's really fun about the mech bay is customization and doing it your way. Not being like, this is the mech, it does this. Yeah, <laughs> Bellica says, I think the first two mods are going to be skip start, intro, and free hard points. I think free hard points I would really like to see as a mod, yeah. Alright, so... Is there anything I want to change here? I mean, I don't think so, right? Oh god, it goes to like a full thing. Oh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. This is like the full thing. I always gotta remember, what's- How much damage does the Nem laser do in this? So it's five. So it's times- Times five is the- Me converting this to HPS Battletech. So I don't have- 40 center torso, I have 40, 80... 4 times 5, 200. Wait, what? 200? That can't be right. 200 in a torso. I don't think... I, I tried this when I played MWO too. I don't think it's possible for me to convert this from HPS because it's not perfect. Because HPS is what I'm familiar with with stats. Anyway, it looks like we're going to be using this thing. Oh god, the head armor. Um, so can we like max the armor please? Oh, I see it. It comes out kind of imperfect. We could take off one of the jump jets. I mean, how important are jump jets in this? Can't imagine they're wildly important. Compared to HPS Battletech. Hold shift and remember five. Have I hit the max weight? A la MWO. I think, I think I have. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, it's like MWO style. It's like a balance. Never liked this much either, honestly. Never liked the whole trade-off system. So then if you want, like, any rear armor, you've got to, like, lose front armor. I don't really love that, honestly. You 
you know what? Can we just not fuck with this then? Hang on. She feels really clunky to me. I don't love it. That kind of uh, armor balancing. Don't love it. Anyway, so can we, can we take off a jump jet? So can we, like, up the head armor? Uh, up. The frontals. I mean, you've got so much in your damn rear. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, you do, you do. You have so much in your damn rear. Why are you running away? I guess we did run away from my dad who died, so... I guess it's like the thing that this company likes to do. It makes sense. Alright, take a look at that. Oh, there's actual jump jet slots too. You can't just put them anywhere you want. Okay. Okay, we got 28, 28. I mean, my legs are better than my fucking side torsos because of this, this rear armor balance. I don't like it. Right arms are up. Um, can I stick any more on anyway? No, so it's kind of like... It's annoying because I can't really max out the tonnage either. I really dislike it. Uh, anyway, that's gonna take seven days and 24,000 just to bear the armor a little bit too. Okay. Can I stick on more M lasers? No, that's all the, that's all the hard points I have. Right. Do that. So, what's next? Gonna go speak to Rihanna again. Mm, that is a claustrophobic stairwell. Like you actually get stuck on it if you hug if you if you don't walk in the middle, you get stuck. It's so tight. This is a tight gantry. Hey Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received oh. your message. I'm I never sorry asked for this. About Nikolai, he was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. What the hell? I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. Why is there a hologram that doesn't move? I've been working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs. I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. God, why do I talk? It's, uh, I don't know, like, it's weird. I, I find it really hard to pay attention to what they're saying. Something about, something about the dialogue in this just really makes my brain just glaze over in, like, a physical way that I can't understand. Uh, what are we doing here? DeBerry. <laughs> We're in DeBerry. <laughs> Pending transmission. Smash and grab. Rihanna... You know, mech fight, we don't the tutorial. We'll get into our first mission. Abandoned power plants. We know the Raiders have been using the area as a secret cache. The UI is really bare bones. It's a secret cache for whatever goods they managed to pilfer from the various mine outfits. So if I'm, I'm doing it again. So we have a little luck. What, what are we What are we doing? We're, we're stealing materials. Okay. That's, that's fine. It's going to take 46 days to refit the Centurion. Okay, so how long is it going to take us to travel to this place? Oh god. Before you accept a mission, you are given the opportunity to negotiate the contract. You begin every contract based negotiation points based on the rep of your company. 
base payout is a fixed amount of contract repair regardless if you succeed. Seabill payout, which can be negotiated, is an additional amount paid if you complete the ob contract objectives. Oh, so you got a base payout even if you fail. <laughs> the sum of the base payout and Seabill payout is added together in a total potential payout below. Salvage shares are used after finishing a contract to claim make weapon. Blah, 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 blah. More valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Huh, okay. Damage coverage is insurance that only pays out to cover the repair cost of damage suffered during this particular contract. That's interesting. How does that balance against just taking more money, I wonder? Who the fuck are you? This UI just sends me. This UI very much feels like... Hi, this is my Gary's Mod uh, package. Uh, I've done some, like, Java... Um, and there's like a little window that comes up so you can select your, your class for my role-playing map that I made. Like, it's, it's just really, it's, it's really, there's just like nothing done with the fonts or like the style or anything. It's just, yeesh. Google Docs UI. Glacial ice, conditions clear, 18.56 kilometers. Time of day, morning. Bandits campaign. Difficulty 5, duration 10 days. What does difficulty 5 mean? Like, out of what? 5 out of 10? 5 out of 100? Duration 10 days. Is that how long it'll take to get there, I guess? Okay. I have one negotiation point. I can get another 100k C-bills. I can get two more salvage shares, or I can insure. Okay. So it's obviously way better if you're going to take damage for damage coverage there. Um, I got a lot of money, so I guess more salvage right now. Seems like they try to make it look like the Battletex UI. It seems like Battletex UI if it was like three months in and the technical demo. Okay, Beagle Rush is going in, apparently. Wait, so... It's just delayed delay being worked on. Yeah, cool. God, zero customization. Why not just make him a mute, then? Loading. What's loading? Yeah, now I'm not Captain Mason. This is so weird. Okay, you got your scent. Um, due in three days, payroll, okay. Right, so, can I just skip time here? Yes. Oh, it just, like, immediately skips the days? Okay. I thought it would, like, spin it along, alright. Is Beaver Rush your name or your call sign? I have no idea. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. We lagging again. Oh god, we're lagging again. There we go. This has a load. Let's see how the frames are on a real mission. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. I really love that there's online. animations for the drop ships. Online. Weapons online. That's great. Systems phenomenal. Reminds me of like battling okay. too. The abandoned power station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. Copy that. Good hunting, Commander. That javelin I hope you get back on it after the mission, too. Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. I hate that I agree with Jimmy Hedero. I hate that I agree with him. You could not make me like a javelin. Jump jets! Doesn't look good from the third person, but it feels alright from the cockpit. Could use a little bit more shunt, I think. Where am I meant to be going? B Cyber says, Do you have any idea how this game plays of co-op? Is everything controlled by the host or do other players get to customize pick their max? I have zero idea. Can you play this campaign 
Can you play the campaign co-op? Like, can you build a mercenary company together? That could be really fun. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I think that's nice. Alright, let's go jump jets. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel ah! empty. How do I... Did you take control of your mechs? Okay. I think I meant to go this way. How do I open the map? There we go. Which way was I meant to go? I didn't listen to Rihanna. I don't know, it's like mountains all the way around. Maybe I'm meant to go... What the fuck? Oh god. Jump jet fuel low. Oh god. Ah! 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 I'm, I'm stuck! I can't move! By the map, I don't really see a route. Let's go back to the leopard. I, I, I was probably meant to go this way, right? Oh no, look at the top of the cockpit. Or don't, if you don't want it to be ruined. Oh no, is that is that meant to be part of it? Am I meant to have like a... Is that a goof or is that intentional? That's That's gotta be intentional. I think that's just actually how the cockpit's meant to look, but I can't really see. That's, that's surely, there's... Doesn't look like I have a sunroof. I guess I'm meant to have a sunroof. That's intentional. You just barely see it in third person. I can't. Hey, where the fuck am I going, man? Rihanna, I need help. I. It's just mountains, Rihanna. Just white as far as the eye can see. Just like me. Let's go back. Everything by the nose. Dad wouldn't have gotten lost. Jimmy Hetero is not a good mech pilot. Turns out nepotism is bad. Objective markers. I know the direction I meant to go, smartass. I'm just trying to plot a route for it. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. It's like a little. It's hard to see because of the contrast. I see it now. All right, let's go. This javelin doesn't feel very fast, does it? What are we doing? What's our speed? What are we running? Ninety-seven. Sounds like a good speed to die at, Rihanna. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess? The raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, Shit. and you'll have a much easier time of it. It's just Got like, it. um... Thanks. It's just like HBS Battletech. There's convenient generators, so you have to fight turrets. Is that a generator? That's a barracks. 
This game also slow, like, slows the sensitivity when you zoom in, I think. Maybe it doesn't. Oh shit! Target acquired. It hasn't spotted me yet. It spotted me! Target destroyed. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a radio oh. patrol. Copy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, New fuck. Die, die, die. Die, J.A. Good Hoover. Target destroyed. Ah! Apparently I'm getting shot by those things, but I can't even see the projectiles. Why does the protag even say anything if all he says is copy? So that you can feel more immersed in the game as your character if you are a white man whose last name is Mason. Whose dad died in a <laughs> intro prologue cutscene that was disappointing. Target acquired. Like if you're not gonna allow customization, the trade-off is usually so that you can do like a certain character's story, but oh, that's that is just an S laser. Oh my god, what am I worrying about? But um, is this protex really bad? It's really bad. They don't let you customize yourself. Just pretend that you're not a white man. Would have been nice. Ah! Die, tanker. Target destroyed. Ouch. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Man, lights are not built for this, Rihanna. Why you send me in for this shit? Unless there's no other mechs in this mission, it's just tanks. My left side is fucked. Target acquired. Out of range. How do you tell if you're in a range? There we go. Target destroyed. Ah! Target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh, I meant to destroy this. Perfect. With the generator blown, the turret should be disabled now. Ah! Uh, helicopters! Uh, no! The air, my weakness! Destroyed. Poor cannon fodder vehicles used to make me feel good about myself. Javelin has chest mounted lasers, it's like a really bad piranha. Okay, there's the geothermal power plant up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate a storage crate, more keep a pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. How's your performance so there. far? Uh, good as a player cipher, terrible as a streamer. I think I meant to look in here. Uh, ow! Target acquired. Target destroyed. Knock knock.
Hello? Don't want to shoot the stuff I'm here to steal. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there it is. H how do I how do I mark it? What? Oh. Good work. Marks for pickup. Okay. Hard to read in this Arctic biome. Oh, uh, it looks like there's white. This turret's disabled, but I'm still gonna shoot it. Just the kind of fucked up person Jimmy Hedero is. What? What? Ah! It seems like... Sorry, I gotta tab out and tab back in for a second. It seems like the minimap radar only shows things that are in your line of sight. So I guess that's for your lance mates. It's pretty... I can't, like, tell things are coming from behind me on sensors otherwise. Ow! Or to my 90 degrees to the left. It's coming out of nowhere, like, one by one. It's really unsatisfying. It'd be more interesting if, like... Five other attacks that tanked at once, like they wanted to live instead of just one at a time. Like death is fun, and they welcome it. Take this, news van. Okay, got it. Keep looking. Huh? Oh, another one. Or not? Rona, where's the third one? Got it. That's uh. All right, that well should done. do it. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. I guess that really was it. Anything worth blowing up on your way out? Say a weapons depot or something. I won't object. Understood. Where am I meant to go? Oh shit. Really far away. The map says there's a way out here. Indeed there isn't. Rihanna! Alright, I figured it out. Yeah, the faint rock in the distance is just not necessary. I think at this point we can pretty much declare that the music is just a negative aspect of the game, so we're just gonna turn that off. Ah, shit! Ah! Panic jump! Oh, it's not dead. Destroyed. Panic jump, which makes you harder to hit. I mean, shot from behind, too, I think. Target destroyed. Yeah. Target acquired. Why do they love hover tanks so much? Oh, 
god, I can't aim like that. Optional, destroy the Raider Weapons Depot. I, I guess? I guess I could do that? Brandon, why didn't you just say there was going to be a weapons depot and I should blow it up for you? Is that going to explode? That looks like something that's going to explode. Nope, it's just a building. That pipe looked explosive. Oh, shit! Ah! Ah! That's explosive! What the hell? No, they're not. Wow. Everything I think is explosive in this base just isn't. I guess I just walk through everything. This feels like it'd be bad for my mech. But the trailer said it was okay. Nicely done, Commander. That should teach them a lesson. Now get to the exfil point, and I'll pick you up. I just, I feel like that's a bad idea, but okay. Blast core style. Yeah, it is blast core. You're right. Battletech is just blast core. Target acquired. Ah, my mortal enemy. Hover tanks. Target destroyed. Oh shit. Ow. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Scorpio! Target destroyed. Is it fun? Seems janky to say the least. It's definitely janky, but unlike Phoenix Point, like it's actually a fun game here. Oh, please be an animation for boarding. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. I'll give you an extra point on the review. Oh, there isn't going to be an animation. Let me board. No! <laughs> That's so weird because, like, the, the leopard lands to let you out. And then you walk out of it, so why can't it land to let you back on it? You know how cool that would be? Like, boarding, backing up onto the leopard while shooting in, like, a hot mission or something? That'd be so awesome. More games need shuttles and animations. That's such a shame. That'd be such a nice little bit of world building. And this is a single player campaign, right? Like, it's all about the world building the immersion, right? That would be nice. Um, yeah, good job, Commander, you idiot. You took Max Salvage on a mission with only hover tanks. Um. I don't know, man. M lasers? LRM 10? Oh, you got a ticket, okay. Insufficient chairs. Wonder if you pay money to repair armor in this. Probably not. Oh yeah, no, you do. Cool, that's good. Mission complete. Commander Mason blew up fucking 15 hover tanks. Able to recover the materials we needed from that raider cache. And Fahad has already started the repairs that are left in the Centurion. Made him a happy man. I don't care. I hate Fahad. God, I... so janky. I feel like I'm looking at patches in Dark Souls. Hey, boss man, that was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs a lot of loving, eh? Hey? You so and fucking sure ships and mechs. You're a pervert. Well, yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now, if there's nothing else, gonna get back at it, all right? Get Not back at it. Do. Story of my life. You fucking creep! Good work with those raiders, Commander. 
While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Okay, but don't Rihanna, look. Commander. Don't look. Good news. Or you'll see his face. I think I can move. get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. RIP! I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange Commander that, Mason's you're gonna have to do a little Mappo work boys. for a mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well, they've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been Good. harassing the mining Straight company. missions are what I like, Rihanna. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Rihanna just... Roger that. I'll <laughs> see you on the other side. God, why do I talk? Rihanna, just keep lining me up straight missions on all white planets. Just like the last one. That's what I like to see. Imminent threat. Okay, we have to defend a mining settlement. Sure. Yes. Well, I learned this time that it's all going to be tanks, so this time I'll just take the money. When is the Centurion going to be ready? Oh, I'm not allowed to take... Drop tonnage. Ugh. Ugh, drop tonnage. I can't even choose to wait for the scent. Oh, I had to tell you to repair this, didn't I? Fuck, I can't do that in here. Uh, uh, okay, I can do it from here. Repair max. It's gonna take three days, okay. Senti Daddy is. 29 days, okay. Age, ages. Is it simultaneous? Okay. Oh, you pay, uh, you pay, like, tri-monthly or something, apparently. Let's go. If it isn't simultaneous, it's I don't know how to order them up. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. It's funny how like it loads the game in, but then it sits there and loads a bunch as well. these raiders overall strength or sheer numbers so keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement copy that copy that cheesy Pete. where am i okay take a left through here bye leopard Bye, mommy. Damn, my UI is bouncing a lot. Is is this normal? Why is There's that? The up ahead, Commander. Rihanna, you're shaking. The Raiders have already begun their attack. Get in there and protect those civilians. What's going on? Target acquired. Please help us. The Raiders are what? attacking our settlement. 
There are women and children here. Rihanna, something's interfering with my sensors. I think the raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. Oh! It's not a bug, it's real. Target acquired. There are women and children in 3015! That's a thing still! Oh no! That's a thing we care about right now. Ah! Die or M20. Whoops, don't step on any women or children. Oh my god, this jamming effect is terrible. So what does the jamming do? Does it like cause gameplay problems? No, it just really pisses the player off and makes the game look like shit. Oh, okay. Don't jump. Boom. Like it doesn't really change my ability to play the game. It's just really fucking annoying. Target acquired. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I think they couldn't do inventory in this. aren't done causing trouble just yet. Oh no. They're headed for the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. We have to Understood. save the women and children, Jimmy Hedero. We have to save them from the evil raiders who are raiding them for their things. Kind of like how we raided the raiders for their things last mission. But Rihanna didn't say there were any women and children in that facility, so this is fine. It's all propaganda, it's part of the game's secret twist that you're the bad guy. Actually, all of those J. Edgar Hoover tanks had women and children pilot in them. Is this jamming ever going away? I'm just gonna do the Counter-Strike thing of putting some gum on the middle of my screen. Way, didn't I? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I hope this game is really moddable. This game could use some mods. What? Jam the game. Did it crash? I think it crashed. The jamming is complete. <laughs> oh no, I think it crashed. Hang on, we gotta restart it. Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom too while we restart it. Yeah, it crashed. It's, uh, it's not bad so far. It's very janky, but, like, the core gameplay is fun enough. If they would get me out of fighting fucking...